Hi guys, today we're going to do an extreme benchmark test between the LG G5 Galaxy S7 and the S7 Edge. Let's go do this, baby. Hi guys, so I've got LG G5, I've got a Galaxy S7 running the Exynos version, Galaxy S7 running Qualcomm 820. Um, these two will test out the differences between Exynos and Qualcomm. And this one has also Qualcomm 820. I'm gonna go ahead and close out of all the apps. All right, close all, close all, close all. I've all got them all in airplane mode. And also I've only turned on Wi-Fi. Um, that's the only thing I have on. I'm gonna go ahead and run N22. And we're gonna go actually run multiple N22 and really stress out these phones and get the uh, temperature hot. Right now, the reading is 77 degrees uh, for the LG G5, 76, and slightly higher, 80 degrees Fahrenheit for the S7 Edge. But they're pretty much cool down, so we're gonna go ahead and do this. All right, ready, set, go. Boom shakalaka. All right guys, the results are in. The S7 actually finished first, but got the lowest score, 129,042, followed by the S7 Edge uh, with a Qualcomm 820, 130,320, followed by LG G5, highest score of 133,832. Now let's go ahead and check out the efficiency of these uh, chips. 88 degrees uh, for LG G5, 86 degrees, uh, for the S7, 85 degrees. So the S7 Edge actually ran the coolest, followed by S7 and LG G5. Now we're gonna do another test. We're gonna keep doing this to really test out uh, how well these things can handle the throttling, the heat, when the phone actually heats up. So we're gonna go ahead and test again. Ready, set, go. Oops. Ah, press the wrong button. Ready, go. All right, and we will be back to check the results on the second N22. All right, in the second test, the Verizon S7 Edge finished up first, 129,465. The S7 with Exynos, 131,000, a lot higher score, but finished slightly slower. The G5 is literally stuck at 99%. Uh, we should be able to get a result here. I hope so. Let me go ahead and measure the temperature here. 88.5 for the S7 Edge, 88.6, about the same for S7, and also 88.9, so about, they're all about the same uh, temperature. All right, um, the LG G5 got stuck, so we're gonna go ahead and do the third test here. Let's go ahead and try it again. All right, um, you can see that the LG G5 failed um, during the middle, and I believe something is wrong with it so we're gonna restart this test otherwise it won't be fair I'm gonna go ahead and actually close out of everything it seems like uh, the G5 is having some problems um, especially uh, running it under stressful conditions all right measuring it again 95 97 degrees Fahrenheit uh, 94.95 and also 93. So they're getting super hot and LG G5 seems to be really failing. But we're gonna go ahead and run this test again and see the results. And really, oops. The LG G5 is having some throttling uh, problems, I think. Again, G5 um, fails to keep going. 
I think it's having throttling problems and we're gonna have to restart these tests. All right, G5 is clearly having some issues. And let me check out the, uh, G5 is at 100, 101 degrees. S7 is at 100 degrees Fahrenheit. Uh, S7 Edge is at 96.2, 97. So a huge difference between Qualcomm A20 on the LG G5. Uh, let me go ahead and turn the sound down here. All right, huge difference between the LG G5 and the S7 Edge. I think the design has everything to do with it. Um, here you can really tell the S7 Edge is outperforming uh, the G5. I believe it's due to the design of the, the phone. All right, but we will keep doing this. S7 Nev doing bad either. All right, this time uh, the S7 Edge and these failed. So I'm gonna have to stop this test. Let me restart all of them. I haven't really been able to get good results now with any of them. I'm gonna go ahead and clear all, close all. All right, let's do this test one more time and see if we can get them all to work. Uh, the LG G5 measuring 99 degrees, uh, 100 degrees for S7, 96 degrees for S7 Edge. All right, let's do this test again. Test, test, test. Oh, test again from zero. Nope. Test again from zero. All right, here we go. And let's do this. And hopefully we'll get a um, no interruption in the test. Okay, you can see S7 Edge and S7 sort of stopped halfway. Um, I think if you keep let it keep going, it will keep going. You should go back to 50. There we go. Go back to 50. All right, re we're really stressing these phones out. Um, that's why it keeps stopping in the middle. But we will go ahead and continue this test and see which one lives up to uh, the stress test. All right, it's really interesting to note that S7 Edge with Qualcomm uh, just stopped working, progressing beyond 60%, which means it's pretty much stuck. Um, I'm gonna have to stop that and try to see if I can um, restart this. And it's gonna go ahead and start over. Uh, let's actually exit out of this for now and let's see how these finish up and we will do one more test but let me go ahead and check the temperature 901 degrees uh, 101 degrees 96 for some reason now the LG G5 uh, is running much much cooler all right but they're both stuck there again so I don't know if we're actually gonna get some results. Uh, we will do one more test. These will finish up. All right, I'm gonna go ahead and stop this. We're gonna go ahead and close out of everything. We're gonna do one more test and see which one uh, has, <laughs> could live up to it. All right, let's go ahead and test out all of them. Ready, set, go. All right, but it seems like the LG G5 is winning um, the extreme benchmark test. Even though it was failing in the beginning, um, you saw that the S7 and the S7 Edge started failing, all right? Uh, 95, 94 degrees, 98 degrees, 95 degrees. So the, S, uh, the G5 running the coolest, all right? Interestingly. And let's go ahead and figure out which one is the king of this extreme and 2-2 benchmark battle. All right, here are the results. Um, the S7 with Exynos, even though it finished the test, 
We could not check the scores because it's forced closed. It may have been too much stress. Uh, 97,000, it went down. Now these are running super high temperatures now. Actually, uh, the S7 at 94 degrees, 101 degrees for the S7, G5, 96, All right? So S7 has still ran cooler, but the G5 I've outperformed the S7 at. So even though the G5 failed earlier um, in the latter tests, the G5 actually lived up. It didn't actually fail as much as these two did. So I'll have to definitely give the win to the G5 uh, who ended up with a score of 120,000 on N22 after that was what, five or six N22 tests in a row. So kudos to LG G5. A lot of people may say that the design is too simple, whatever, but the tests prove that the LG G5 can actually work out. It beat both of these, as you just saw. This couldn't even finish the app itself. So interesting results. I don't think these results will mean anything. It's just that they're all pretty good. I mean, I've just put them through extreme tests. If you're playing a graphic intensive game for like, you know, more than like an hour straight, um, these tests may help you. Maybe the LG G5, it could be the way to go. Who knows? Um, do let me know what your thoughts. If you enjoyed this video, don't forget to hit the thumbs up, subscribe. If you want more videos like this, extreme benchmarks, do let me know. I'll do more of these. And as always, stay on Android. Click here to subscribe. Hey,